David, uh, tell us what you found in your study of common food and beverage products. We went out and tested 55 uh, retail products, brand name products, uh, both beverages and food products that were high in high fructose corn syrup. And we found that in about one third of them, uh, there was detectable mercury in those products. Why do you think the mercury in the foods you tested came from high fructose corn syrup? Well, everything uh, that we know points in that direction, certainly. Um, for one thing, high fructose corn syrup is either the most common ingredient or the second most common ingredient in all those food items that we tested. Second of all, uh, at the same time our report came out, a different study came out that had actually tested high fructose corn syrup by itself and found mercury detectable in about half the samples and that was high fructose corn syrup that was collected by the FDA. So how does mercury or how could mercury get into high fructose corn syrup? Well that's a good question. Uh, high fructose corn syrup is a really complex manufactured uh, item and in its manufacture a lot of different food grade chemicals are used like caustic soda for example. Well it turns out that caustic soda uh, can itself be manufactured in, in three different ways and one of them involves an outdated technology that relies on the use of mercury and we think that that outdated techn technology contaminates the high fructose corn, corn syrup that comes out of that the plants using that technology with mercury. Well how common is this mercury cell technology uh, in, in chlorine plants? Well, it used to be more common than it is today, but it's still pretty widely used. Uh, about 10% of a chlorine plant production in the U.S. today still uses this outdated mercury cell technology. Um, worldwide, the figure is probably higher. For example, we think in a, Europe, about one in three chlorine plants still use this mercury cell technology. Uh, putting the products that come out of those plants at risk for being contaminated with mercury. What are the concerns with mercury? Uh, what are the public health concerns uh, both for adults and children? Well, mercury is a heavy metal and it's uh, one of the most studied and, and one of the more toxic things that we know about in the environment. And the, the problem is that mercury comes in a lot of different forms and all the forms are toxic. Uh, some of the things that we know mercury contributes to are problems with brain development, uh, uh, um, toxicity to the heart, to the kidney, and to the immune system. We think that the not everybody's as vulnerable as the next person. The, the most vulnerable part of the population are little children and fetuses in the womb. And for them in particular, even low levels of mercury exposure can throw their brain development off course. Are the amounts of mercury found in high fructose corn syrup worrisome? Well, sure. Uh, any additional mercury exposure is worrisome because mercury in all its forms is toxic. So uh, the mercury exposure that we want is no exposure at all. The, what, what is concerning to me is a couple of things. One, uh, our studies and the the other studies that were recently published seem to show that there is mercury in high fructose corn syrup. Uh, that being the case, we eat a lot of high fructose corn syrup. It may be one in ten calories consumed by Americans on average. And you add those things together and it could uh, mean that there's a significant source of additional mercury exposure that we didn't even think about before. This would be on top of what people are already getting through contaminated fish or seafood, for example. What uh, needs to be the next step, uh, from your view, from governments and from industry in response to these findings? Well, first of all, we're calling on Congress to uh, 
pass legislation that, among others, uh, Senator Obama, when he was in the Senate, sponsored. And that was legislation that would have phased out the use of this outdated mercury technology in chlorine plants. That, that would be a long-term solution to the problem. In the interim, though, we think it's also important that corn refining companies stop using this uh, uh, caustic soda and other chemicals from these outdated uh, mercury-using plants uh, to make their high-fructose corn syrup. Um, this is, in fact, easy to do because uh, these companies can buy caustic soda for making high-fructose corn syrup that comes from other chlorine plants that don't use mercury. And then finally, um, we don't know that the companies that are putting high-fructose corn syrup in their beverages or their other food products know where that high-fructose corn syrup comes from or, or what kind of caustic soda went into it, but we think it's important that they ask uh, the, the other companies providing them with the high fructose corn syrup whether or not it was produced with mercury or not.